Welcome to Norfolk Perspective City Slice. I'm Bob Batcher. I've been waiting to have this interview since about June 1st. <laughs> Coach Peak has come back from London just to come right here on Norfolk Perspective City Slice and tell us what it was all about. Coach Peak, congratulations and hello. Thank you. Thank How are you, you doing? Good, good. So, okay, have you settled in yet? Are you back to the routine? A uh, little bit, a little bit. I'm still uh, not sleeping very well. I'm still on London time, so uh, that's a little off. But, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm back in my gym, back with my kids. So you got sleep in London? Uh, no, I didn't get to sleep much in London. <laughs> okay, let's sit back, relax, and we're going to talk about it. Because, as I said just before the camera came on, you never got 10 minutes with Bob Costas, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, now you're going to know why. No, I, we are so proud of the work that uh, you and our athletes did over in London. It was awesome watching. Thank you. It was so cool. Did you watch? Yes. Okay, you got a special kid sitting next to you, don't you? Very special kid. You yes. want to give us his name? His name is. What's his proper introduction? His name is uh, Keyshawn uh, Davis. He's a 85-pound uh, uh, junior uh, boxer. And uh, he's one of my, uh, what I call my elite boxers, well, I elite juniors. Because you're in good hands. Did she tell you that I took her on the <laughs> no. last time she was on the show? Well, that was his brother. That was his brother that was here. I, I ignored witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what happened the last time she was on the show? No. She had to take her glasses off. <laughs> you know, because she was afraid I was going to hurt her. No gloves this time? No gloves this time. Did you spar with Bob Costas? Uh, no, I didn't See? spar with Bob Costas. See, look at that. Bob Costas, short little guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's short. Yeah, he's, he's been doing this a lot longer than me, so I better settle in and ask you some good questions. Okay, what was it? How did? Because right after you did the interview right. on Norfolk Perspectives is when it was kind of up and down if you were going to go or not. What was going on then? Well, that was just some of the politics that's played in the business uh, as to who was going to be uh, the coaches. Uh, for the 2012 Olympics, and um, what happened was when when the dust cleared, they they called me, they called me and said, hey, um, you know, uh, we need you over here. You still interested in coming? And I'm like, are you kidding? I was gonna say, how long did you think about it? Uh, about two seconds. <laughs> now you didn't go right to London. You went to uh, Colorado Springs first, right? Right, Colorado Springs, and there uh, we ran a uh, two week training camp. Um, to begin to, well, three-week training camp to begin to get the athletes uh, prepared um, to, to go over and fight on the biggest stage in the world. Yeah, it's awesome. But, but what do you mean, I mean, they've been, you've been boxing for how long now? Five years. So most of the guy, w women you worked with been in the same boat, right, since they were little guys? Yes, but they're, your average, um, your average, Average uh, Olympians usually been boxing for 12 years or more. Whoa! It takes that long to get to that level, uh, except the young lady that won the goal uh, wasn't boxing that long. Really? Yes. She was just fleet of foot, fast of hand, or what? Uh, she is just, uh, she's a little bit of a beast when it comes to, <laughs> she does that Hulk Hogan transformation in the ring. Are we talking? Yes, we're talking that young lady with the great smile. Yeah, she's got and broken thumbs. Uh, no, no, those, those, oh, <laughs> those are hand not... wraps, no broken thumbs. Oh, I thought maybe you uh, had to teach her something. <laughs> no. <laughs> she's got long arms. Yes, she does. So that helps? Uh, well, it, it helps, but you can do it with short arms, okay, too. Okay, pull your arms out. Come on. This is know. a little short. He's still growing. Okay, he's, he's got four years. Yeah, he's still growing. You going to Rio? <laughs> yes. Are you? Yes. You're going to hold that flag, too, huh? Yes. That is so cool. Okay, so you're, you're a proud coach. Is that kind of like a proud mama? Oh, yeah. I mean, the fact that, uh, not only the fact that I went there and, and I coached, and I made history on a number of levels, but the fact that uh, I coached the only gold medal to be won by the USA team. Yeah, it was so cool. And that it was a female. And it's been a while since, it, I mean, when was the last time we got a you like that? We got a gold? <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. I had to, I sparred her. Did I tell you that? We sparred. About 30 <laughs> seconds. Have you sparred with her? No. You haven't sparred with her? No. She's tough. Ask the gal that got the gold. <laughs> so it's been a long time since the gold came. Yes. Where, okay, what were you doing when she got her gold? 
Uh, I was in the corner. I was the one that uh, was giving her the instructions and making sure I put her in position to win that goal. Okay, so what were you yelling at her? Well, the uh, after the first round, we were tied 2-2. Two -two. And uh, wait, a minute, I, we? Yes, it she, was. She was the one. She's the one hit. doing the boxing. But you know, when you're when you're coaching, you know, you see it from the perspective of one. And I'm looking at it and saying, okay, it's a 2 2 tie. That's, that's not good. Uh, we need to uh, put ourselves in position to win. Uh, so basically, what I told her, because her opponent used the jab to paw with. So it wasn't strong. Okay, wait a minute. The jab? Okay. The jab, which is her left hand. But she pawing She was with pawing it? with it, which meant that it wasn't strong. It wasn't anything that um, could do a lot of damage. So what I told her was to come over her jab with a, with a right hand hook, but I needed her to step to the right, okay. step to the right. So if you heard her say that, what would you do? What, what she said? Yeah. Step mm -hmm. to the right? Yes. All the way to the right? Yes. yes. See, I'd, be all, I'd be out of the place. Okay. So she listened to you? Yes. I told her to step to the right, come over her jab with a right hand hook, and then continue to the right so we would make her pick her feet up and turn. Once we did that, you make her pick her feet up. She has no balance. The other gal? You made... You, no. Oh, okay. The, her opponent, who was... Uh, uh, was from Russia. And so um, she did exactly what I told her. We started to run up the score, you know, and at that point I told her if she ran the score up, if she'd get a high enough uh, score, I would let her go in the third round, which meant that I would let her do what she wanted to do. She had to do what I told her to do in order to do what she wanted to do. She likes to come straight at you and bang. Yeah, it looks like it'd be a bang. <laughs> okay, now, we're, okay, the dynamics, now, she's got, she's had a coach for life, too? Yes, she's from Flint, Michigan, and she has Ooh, a coach. you didn't mention that. Yeah. So, Hulk, Flint, Michigan, <laughs> she got an attitude? Uh, yeah, but she's, uh, she's a baby. She's still learning. Um, she only has an attitude in the ring when she's boxing. So, calling her your baby in the ring may have helped a little bit. Yeah, yeah, maybe. <laughs> now, so how does her coach that she's had for a long time deal with you then? Uh, the same as any coach would. If, um, if Keyshawn made the... Uh, if, if when he, he makes the Olympics. When he makes the Olympic team and it's time for him to go, uh, yes, I'm going to turn him over to the national coaches um, because... They're the ones that have to take him and get him to the podium. But I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to give him all the skills and everything he needs to, to make it to that podium and win. And because uh, I'm an uh, international level coach, uh, I have an advantage over a lot of coaches who don't have that experience. Gotcha. I'm able to uh, better prepare him. So by the time the, um, the national coaches get him, he'll already have all those skills. He'll already be able to do um, pretty much 99% of the things they need him to do to win. Okay, I got one more really important question. How is the food? The food was great. Really? The food was great. Uh, the atmosphere was great. Um, you know, I tell people, where else can you go? Think about this. You go one place, okay, and the whole world comes to you. Yeah. The entire world was at the Olympic Village. So I was able to touch the world uh, by being in one place. That's awesome. Okay. Now, while you were over there, though, Bob Costas was kind of whining <laughs> about no air conditioning. <laughs> yes. There's no air conditioning? No, there's no air conditioning uh, in the Olympic Village. Yeah, those okay, now I see some two mean looking guys here. While you were out playing around in London, what were you doing? I was out in Kansas City for the um, tournament, for Ringside Tournament in Kansas City. You you got it. You were over there winning, weren't you? Yes. Those suckers are bigger than you. Which one's yours? Both of them. <laughs> Both of them are yours? Yes. Okay, I got a question to ask you. Because while you, right after you got back from Kansas City, the guy that drove you out there was on the show. Your feet really smell that bad? <laughs> That's what she said. 18 hours in the van? <laughs> so you can win that, huh? Yes. I got to be nice to him, though, because he's going to be an Olympic winner, aren't yes. you? Now, what's this ribbon here? Uh, that's from um, Pals from Ohio. All right. So when you get in the ring, do you have her talking in your back, too? Yes. Do you listen to her? Yes. What happens when you don't? Um, I, have a, 
I'll probably lose. <laughs> <laughs> you probably lose and you have a tough practice after, right? Tough ride home. Is it a <laughs> tough, tough ride home? Tough ride. Uh, but, you know, I see a lot of love and, uh, and pride in your smile and your eyes. You're, the kids that you train. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, come on. Let's talk about that. Listen, um, you know, people were saying to me, oh, man, it must have been great. You're in the Olympics. That's all you thought about. Well, yeah, I mean, it was it was great. And I and I loved it. But I also miss my kids and I miss being home with them. And I missed I really miss uh, being at ringside with them uh, because it's um, it's a labor of love. You know, I mean, yes, all my kids have parents and stuff like like that. But I I kind of feel like they're my kids, too. And I kind of share them with the parents. Uh, everything from discipline right on up to I'm proud of you when you do those things um, that that are important, whether it's, you know, you're getting good grades in school, you know, or you've done something special at school or, you know, you've done some special things. Um, he's a he's an excellent athlete and he's a good football player. I really this year I want to get to see some of his football games. I haven't been able to get there yet, but I want to go see him play football as well because um, I know that's one of his loves. Well, I got to tell you, I, I've never been so proud as the night when I had to hear from Bob Costa <laughs> that she won. And I came into the office the next day. I said, you know what? I scared her. She had to take her glasses off. That's why she won. <laughs> and then they told me, I'm going to close with this, that they're using the B-roll they've been showing of you fighting rather than me sparring with you. The, is promoters. that what they're showing? Yeah. yeah. My stuff ended up on the floor. <laughs> but I am so proud to be a Norfolkian who can say that I know you. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm going to be feeling the same way in four years when you go to Rio. Yeah, we'll be back. You'll be able to interview him. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Thanks for joining us. It's a great time to be here. Thank you. Thanks, Ray.